In today's video, we will learn about how you can run a web server image in Docker. Along with it, we will also use one another uh, Docker uh, cloud native uh, messaging app. So we will use that app to install. So let us firstly talk about Jenkins. Jenkins is a web server which is free of source. You will be able to download it on your uh, Docker and run it as a container on your Linux system. So let us firstly go to terminal. Now, whenever we talk about any of the open repository which is available, so you need to go to hub.docker.com. So at this place, you will be able to find out different repositories which are available and you can use those repositories to uh, install those images or to get those images on your local system and then later on you can deploy them with the help of your docker so first of all let me tell you how you can find them go to explore so you will be able to see there are number of such available uh, images which you can use so first of all we are having oracle we are having java images so you can deploy whichever image you want so we have ibm db2 okay we have mongodb and nginx node then we also have apache server alpine busybox mysql docker memcache so there are number of such images which are available so we also have filters on the left hand side from where you can sort out your image type now if you need anything related to database so you can click on database and it will figure uh, filter out the applications which are only related to databases so you will be able to do that so this is this is one way with which you will be able to search your different type of databases so similarly we have some messaging apps so in those if you want to uh, get any messaging app you can click on messaging if you need operating systems you can click on operating systems so it is up to you how you want to filter out your images so once you have find out which uh, what is your requirement and according to that requirement you find out the image what you need to do is you need to go to the actual page of that application so now as we talk about jenkins so we will search for jenkins now once i am able to search you need to visit at this place and once you are here there is something which you need to see now first of all we are given with a pull command so you can use this pull command to fetch this particular image to your local repository so this is the first thing which which command you should use secondly every image which you are going to use they have given the method to use that particular image so this is something which is available for number of or you can say most of the uh, applications uh, sorry images which you will download so you will get it for most of the application uh, most of the images so the, you need not to worry or you need not to remember all the commands to run the applications so you can get them from the main page of your docker hub for that particular application otherwise we are also having the commands which we discussed in the last uh, uh, video which was related to sudo docker container run hyphen hyphen publish then the port numbers then detach then you can rename the container so there was a command if you want you can refer to the previous video as well so this is how you can run it so let us jump to the terminal and try to use it so first of all you need to log into your docker so command is sudo docker login so it will need to have the cred <coughs> credentials 
now once you have given the credentials now it is possible to run your commands now the first thing is docker pull jenkins now in my system i already have the docker file so i will need to tell you that it is a uh, large file so it will take some time to download so i have done it already but still i will run the command if there are any updates it will do that updates and let me know so once it is getting updated you can check if there is any update so right now it is uh, i am not having any update it is around 200 to 2 300 mb of download which your system will need to perform to uh, download the jenkins latest software now once it is here then we need to see what is the command which we can use so just to that place see docker run hyphen p p is your publish then this is one port number and this is the another port number and then it is the host name so this will be the name for your uh, software which is running and these two are the publish commands which means it will be working on the port number 8080 okay now you can also detach it detach means it will run in it in the background but there will be some requirement of running this in inside the terminal we will discuss about that you can also use the persistent storage now what is persistent volume it will store all the data which you uh, which you will be working with so every data whichsoever you changes you do everything will be stored at some place so for that you can use this particular command that is hyphen v for creating a persistent volume and this volume will be created at this place this is the link uh, sorry this is the path for your storage so we are not create, going to create a storage right now so we will simply use the first command so that is docker run hyphen p and if you remember to get the administrative privileges we need to use sudo let us run it you will be able to see it is going to start and why it is being uh, not detached from the uh, terminal the reason is it will show you a administrative password which you will need to use to configure this particular uh, web server so just let it get started once it gets started i will just show you the process a little bit now this is the administrative password which we might need when we are going to configure it we will see into it just let it start it will be setting up the port once the ports are set up we will be going to the browser and searching for the local host local host then it's it will be 80000 once it is up and running so we can use that it is just setting up the ports so it might take some time because it is just getting ready so you will see this type of a message It is not properly deployed till now, so it might take some time. Oh, okay, it is done. So once you see at this place, it is showing that it is running properly. So you need to copy this password from this place 
and you might need to give it at this place. Once you have typed in the password, you will be able to log in. So this will be your setup wizard. By moving to this setup wizard, you will be able to configure your web server. But all the information which you transfer or which you process by using this web server will not be permanently stored because we haven't used the persistent volume. So if you use the persistent volume, it will store the whole information whichsoever you will go through or whichsoever you will process will store that way. So this was the example for using Jenkins. So now I have one another application which is NATS that is NATS. So it is your cloud native messaging system. So you can also set up it as per your needs. So the same process will be here as well. So now if you don't want to use it, you can simply close the terminal. So once you have closed the terminal and you want to run it on the same port, so what you need to see is whether we have any other container running or not. The command is sudo docker container ls. Just run that command. You will be able to see that we are having one another container which is running and it is running on the same port. So if you use the same command, it will be having a clash with the port number. So you need to stop this particular uh, container. So for that, you can use the command sudo docker container rm hyphen hyphen force and b20 e a a b49. So from where I get this ID, it is from this place. You can get your container ID from this place. Once you have that container ID, just click next. It is done. Now, if you list the running containers, you will be able to see that there is no container. Now you can run the next image. So now for this, what what is the first task? We can use the command docker pull nats. So we go to this place and we paste it. Same. We need to have sudo in front. So it will be fetching the latest image from this place if there is any latest image if uh, uh, currently i am having the previous image which has not been updated so i will not be downloading anything now how to use it same the commands are given so you can use those commands directly just read this in this it is saying if you want to run the single server how you can configure it if you need multiple servers to run means one will be the client uh, two are the clients one is the server how you will configure it so this is the command which is given well, we can use this command docker run hyphen d so paste it at this place use the command sudo Now it is running. Now once it is running, you can access it on the port number 4222. So we can go and move to the local host. And we can write local host. And the port number is 4222. So you will be able to access it at this place. So it is saying this port number is active. Then if you want to use the second, if you want to run the second server, you can use the same command but with the changed port numbers. So you can use it. Now currently we are we have accessed 422. We can also access 622. So you can check it at this place for 422. We have got a reply. For 622, we have got another reply. Then for 822, we will get the actual NAT server. So, where you will be able to um, put up the gateways, all the files. 
so you can access that server from 8 to 2 so those two were the hosts this one is the server you can check it in the documentation how they are defining it so the this is for client 422 this is for routing and 822 is for http management port of information reporting so with single command you are able to run all the three different uh, port numbers and you are able to access it now if you want to run multiple number of servers then you can use the second command which is at this place if you want to verify the routes you can run the third command so all the commands are given in your docker hub so you can simply read out those commands from this place and run them directly no need to remember all the commands so you can simply see it at this place because each and every application which we are having is having different set of commands to run so that's all and one more thing uh, if you want to see where your files are getting stored so this is the path first of all go to your my computer then go to var folder then in lib then you are having a folder named as docker so in this all your images all the overlays and plugs in and everything is stored at this place if you want to get the access you will need to use the command ch mode hyphen 777 and put the name of this directory so that you will get the permission okay thank you so much for completing the tutorial.